And we are back. Bears franchise. And uh, in the last episode, we got beat 22 to 10. Uh, player of the week, we actually have one, and it's going to go to Donovan Wilson, who got three tackles, an interception, a force on mobile, fumble recovery, and a touchdown. So, good job, Donovan Wilson. Really making me contemplate uh, what to do with him. We need to stay grinding, bro. I mean, look at us. Take a look at our record. One and four. And not only that, we've lost to the Lions already twice. And we've lost the Vikings once. <clears throat> so we're three and a half games behind first place in the division. It's, and we've only played five games. And uh, that's not great math. So, I hate to be that that downer, but I'm finding it extremely hard for us to win a division already. Uh, that's a huge one. You don't really need safeties at the moment, but... Oh, wait, no. Scheme fits have increased interest. We don't really need a linebacker at the moment. So we have Okever Key. We have Morrow for this season. I imagine we're probably going to draft one. <clears throat> Don't need half hack and fullback either. So draft pick seems like a good idea, but also we could use to really use this side. So we're gonna do that. We have a long way to go. We still have like majority of three of them. We have half we have nearly a full side done. Or head coach, we're essentially done. With uh, offensive coordinator, because we're just trying, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just we are trying to just have any success on offense. We have struggled week in, week out with our offense. Seahawks, this doesn't matter at all. I was trying to scroll down with the right stick. Shoulder strain for Sean Murphy Bunting. Luckily, it's on the bye week. Hopefully, it's a one-week thing. And we're completely healthy on the offense. It's only one injury. Very, very lucky to escape, you know, that clean cut. But at the same time as well, Calvin Joseph is not a bad fourth cornerback. There is a reason I have a fourth cornerback. It's because if one of them happens to get injured, it's only one week, so we're fine. Then, well, we're not screwed. Because cornerbacks, in my opinion, one of, if not the biggest, Positions. <laughs> so yeah, same with running back. There's a reason I've held on to Dave Montgomery. It's because it's just so hard unless if you draft an absolute stud at running back, or 
a guy falls into free agency who's a stud. It's just so hard to get a good running back. And I think the same is coming true of quarterback. We're in our third season now, and I don't even know how many quarterbacks we've had to start. <coughs> it's just not great. I want to see Tyree Brooks, but the issue with that is Donovan Wilson has... You just got player to week, been playing like a stud, and now I don't really want to let Donovan Wilson walk in free agency because of how he played. So what we're allowed to do is, if it's the bye week, uh, we're allowed to re-sign any players. No cost whatsoever, as you know, because it's so easy to just negotiate with players. The rule are the bye week. Uh, as soon as you either clinch a playoff spot or get eliminated from the playoffs, it don't matter when. Say you got eliminated week 15, you lose your week 15 game, or you clinch week 15, either or. Week 16 through 18, you are allowed to negotiate with players. You are allowed to negotiate with players one other time. You can choose when. So say if I wanted to, you know, Kendrick Green, I want to re-sign him, which I do, by the way. He rejects this offer. Next week, if I wanted to, or any week up until that point, until, you know, I get eliminated or clinch a playoff spot, I'm allowed to negotiate him one more time. If he declines, he declines. I have to wait until eliminate or clinch a playoff spot or the re-sign period. Uh... Or week 18, if, you, if you're still battling for a playoff spot come week 18, you're allowed to negotiate from week 18 before the game. So you have the bye week, your, your one time, you know, you can choose when, when you either clinch or get eliminated, or week 18 if you're still fighting for a playoff spot, and then the resign period. <clears throat> so, the issue is, I don't really want Jacoby Brissett. Nor do I, I do want Donovan Wilson, but I need, I just have to let Tyree Brooks play. Tevin Jenkins is interested in returning. We do have a decent amount of capper. I'm going to give him a free year deal. He is going to return. And then Kendrick Green, another guy who was highly interested in resigning. I'm going to give him a two year deal. And he is also going to resign. So those two players, they're locked up. I'm going to wait on Donovan Wilson and Jacoby Brissett. I doubt we bring back Jacoby Brissett. Donovan Wilson, if I do, I want it to be for the backup because I need Tyree Brooks to play. I think I drafted him, what, was it second round? In my opinion, if you draft someone in the second round, <coughs> you expect them to be a, a starter. Yeah. It's fine. I let him sit. I mean, I let him sit his first two years. Really, I'd say you only want to have him sit for one. Because you look, already 23. He's going to be 24. And he's only a 73 normal overall. Normal development rate. So he's going to really struggle to develop. In my opinion... The first two rounds, those are guys you expect to start. You can let them sit a year, sit in two years, however long you need. Third round guys, you are expecting to be either starters, probably low tier or below average, to very good backups. And probably same with the fourth round. You're expecting them to be a, a great backup or, you know, a low caliber starter. The fifth round, you are expecting, in my opinion, just a backup. A, a solid one, nothing, you know, too elite. If they start, it's probably because either one, you found a diamond in the rough. Or two, yeah, you know, someone got injured. Or you literally have no other option. That's your best option. Say you don't have a freaking free safety. 
you're either the only one you have or the best one you have is that fifth round pick. Respect stardom. The sixth and seventh round, those are primarily, you know, Hail Marys. You're expecting them to either not make the roster or be a practice squad slash backup. Unless if it's for specific positions like kicker, punter, long snapper, fullback, stuff like that. Those are really the exceptions. Because those you intentionally wait on later rounds. And also with running back. Like if you draft a running back in the third. You're probably going to expect them to be. Either a one two punch or a starter. Running back is one of the most valuable positions. But the issue is they have. Probably the shortest lifespan in the NFL. You really don't see running backs starting. In their 30s. Unless if you know. They're like, they were still good at 29 years old, or an injury, like I said, or it's the best option you have. Like, there's a big thing. You don't give a, co a second contract to a running back. It's like one of the biggest mistakes you can make, or it's one of the best things you can make. That's one of the things I hate about uh, running backs. In real life, teams kind of bounce around running backs. They'll like have them for their rookie contract, fifth or option if it's a first rounder, and then they'll just ditch them. But in Madden, running backs are such a position that like David Montgomery, how old is he? 27. He's in the first year of his second contract, and I gave him a four-year deal. So he's going to be 30, 31 years old by the time his contract is over. And he's going to play great because in Madden, overall, is a huge impact for running back. So you're going to see in Madden guys like Derrick Henry, Jonathan Taylor, Christian McCaffrey. All be starting running backs in their like mid 30s, at like 34, 35 years old. And they're probably going to be low 80s, or not low 80s, uh, low 90s, high 80s. While we're here, one year agreement brings Graham to the Panthers. Graham Gano signed a one-year deal with Carolina. And Nick Needham signs a one-year 2.7 mil with the Panthers. We transactions. This is kind of just for, you know, to recap what's happened so far. You look at it, we see obviously some big names. Leonard Fournette, he just got a contract extension. So did Carlton Davis. So did D. Hoff, Cleo Mack, Asante Samuel, Fletcher Cox, Andre Dilwerk, Darius Tony, Fo, Fo Renzo, Fatu Kasi. I don't know why I struggle. I know his name. Levante David, Amon Ross, St. Brown, Michael Thomas, Pete Werner, uh, James Daniels, Evan Pearson. Buccaneers traded Levante David to the Jaguars. In return, they get Elijah Wilkinson. And Kiki Kuti. Yeah, it kind of looks like that's it. And now we're just kind of seeing a bunch of people get released. And the issue is, the bye week, I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty sure Jacoby Brissett, he might not even be on the team come past week 7. I'm really considering starting Matthew Hoskins. Oops.
There are some receivers we could have, but we are electing to go the young route. You look at our receivers. Let's go there quickly. We have Calvin Ridley, 87 overall, star dev. That's normal. He's a top receiver in the league. 29 rating. He is the 33rd best receiver in the league overall wise. So he's a starting caliber receiver. Kendrick Bourne. 47th ranked. He, so he's a top. He's a starting receiver in the league. Uh, he's probably not going to be on our team very long. He might actually just be a one year thing. Darren Moody. Only a 78 overall. You look at him. 61st ranked, so he should be a starting receiver in the league. He's not, though. And then we get to guys like... Wait. Oh, Darren Moody's actually an 80. Not a... Whatever I said. 77. Juan Broughton. Oh, this is the wrong section. He's... Juan Broughton should be a backup receiver. And he's going to be, but... The issue is, I drafted him how early? Third round? Early in the third. I'm expecting him to be a starting receiver. Granted, I'm not expecting it immediately. Daquan Wiggins, sixth round pick. I'm not expecting him to be a starting receiver. Toby Holcomb. Drafted what? Fourth round? Fifth round, maybe? I'm expecting him to be, you know, the fourth receiver on a team. Not the starter, but he'll get a decent amount of playing time. And unfortunately, we found a diamond in the rough to Quan Wiggins, him being a 74 overall, compared to Toby Holcomb, 71. Which at the time was, I was like, man, 71 overall in the fourth? That's very good. Receiver is such a hard position. Because you either need to hope you draft a great guy who has like mid 70s, like 75, 6, 7, you know, etc., and has a hidden dev minimum. Or you need to hope a guy like Juan Broughton, who is definitely not starting caliber uh, as a rookie, just magically we play him. And he gets a breakout, and he gets that breakout, and goes as far, and then he'll start developing. But that's the issue. Receivers aren't going to develop if they're like normal dev low overall. It's going to take forever. In fact, Juan Broughton, on this team, 74 overall, I plan on having him for at least the remainder of his rookie deal. He'll probably be uh, 76, maybe 77 overall. Because Kendrick Bourne, he's probably not going to be here come next season. If he is, it'll only be for that year. It won't be for the next. I don't want to pay him six, nearly 6.5 six mil for a guy I don't even want. <clears throat> so, yeah. But that's kind of it. This bye week's kind of underwhelming. Because, you know, of Jacoby Brissett, we don't really want him and Donovan Wilson, the uncertainty of how Tyree Brooks will, you know, be with me. Uh, and being in week six, we only ha were able to sign four people. Like, oh, we can actually. Oh, hold on. I didn't know this. All right, we can actually negotiate with Chukwuma Akora for it. And I... His interest level is horrible. But I don't want him is the issue. I do. But not more than a year. Tell me what. I'll give you the offer you're getting for two years. But for one year instead. Heck. We'll make it four mil flat. Okay and I think that's it. I don't think I want to bring you back then. 
I'm not gonna franchise tag you. That's for damn certain. And well, if you don't want four mils over a year, that's the most I am willing to pay you. And that's not a good thing. Because I tend to not want to pay people the most they want. Or I'm willing to pay. Because, you know, that money could be used at other positions. Like, let's look at our team's salaries. Do you know the reason why we have so much salary cap? Because we don't have a quarterback. Am I able to score by position? The highest someone's getting paid is 4 mil. And that is amazing for a quarterback. But at the same time, we don't have a good quarterback. Nick Bose is a camp cut. That's like losing, what, 47 mil, 46 mil? Gavin Ridley, we'd lose more money than we'd make. Same with Jalen Johnson. Jordan Mailata would be a con an interesting one. I don't know, though. I have 15 mil we could use. Giannis Ngakwe, that's almost double. Kendrick Bourne, if we released him now, we'd save about 5.5 mil. Can't do that. Okereke, don't want to. Bertie Bunting, can't, don't want to. I don't want to if you, I'd rather just let you walk. Two and a half mil for Alex Leverwood. No. Jamin Davis? No. We're just looking for the positive stuff. Alkwadi Muhammad? No. Definitely not. Nicholas Morrow? I don't want to. Donovan Wilson? Don't want to. Can't. Ryan Nall, a fullback, saves us about 1.3 mil. For a fullback who barely plays, we'll think about that. Jack Fox, no, I'm only saving literally like 90k or whatever that is. No, 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 no. It's half a mil, 500k, that's not enough. No. No. I want to give Jacoby Brissett another week. He plays horrible against the Seahawks. He's gone. Okay, but yeah, that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I did. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Uh, enjoy a little Thursday video. Uh, since it was the bye week, I quickly realized even though in past videos I said something. Uh, yeah. It's just not going to happen. Uh, since it's a bye week, it's an easy one to record. It's supposed to be relaxing. I don't have to sit here for 40 minutes. But yeah, goodbye. And enjoy.